today is communicating and connecting with children. So I'm going to give an adult example. It's kind of an analogy for children, but it's similar for us. So this is an example of a guy. So that's Mount Everest. And this guy had wanted to climb Mount Everest for years, for years. Now, I don't know much about climbing, but I know a lot goes into it. And Everest is a serious, serious climb. So this guy prepared, prepared like crazy for a few years to make this trip. So you're talking about backpacking, getting ready, climbing smaller mountains. And he's like, I'm going to do this. So he's got all of his gear. And you know, this is, a, this is a risky adventure, but he's prepared himself, so he's ready. He's going up, and he gets about a fourth of the way up Everest. And all of a sudden, he looks up in the sky, and Superman comes wisping over, takes him, and lifts him to the summit. Because Superman thinks, I'm helping him. I'm bringing him to the top, because that's what he wants to do. He wants to get to the top. So my question is, is this guy going to be happy with Superman? No. No, he's he's going to be angry with Superman. But what is Superman going to think? Okay. Yeah, what, yeah why, why are you angry at me? I just helped you. So can you guys see a conflict here that's very similar with parent and child or teacher and child? Child, you're helping them. You're doing everything for him. And he's shouting at you and hitting you possibly? I mean, it's, it's a really bad relationship because you're not understanding one another. Child, it's going to take a lot of time and years for him to understand you, but at least we can understand the child. So observe, am I needed here? In this case, Superman could have clearly seen this guy wasn't yelling, I need your help! He was just climbing. So just observe, am I needed here? Um, again, back to that look for process, not necessarily outcome. So a lot of times with children, we're looking at outcome. Uh, Maria Montessori has this great line about she saw a child that's working with a pail and he was filling it with some sand. And his mom's looking at him and says, oh, he's having trouble. He's struggling with it. So she goes over and puts all the sand in the pail for him. Says, Look at yeah, And he just flips out. But she was thinking of the end. Uh, he wants a filled pail. She wasn't thinking of that natural urge for a child to go through that experience, the process. So just keep that in mind, process over end. Um, interesting. Have anybody in here, so say elementary age children, teenagers, or between us as adults, experienced somebody trying to give you help when you don't really need it? Any examples? Yeah? Not, not personally, but okay. my wife, who's, as you know, she's about 5'3", okay. and she flew up to San Francisco recently, and even though she's perfectly capable of putting her thing in the overhead bin, yeah. someone came in and he said, oh, okay, let me help you with that. And went ahead and did it for her, and it was like, okay, you don't need to touch my stuff. <laughs> okay. And I'm also capable of doing it myself. Yeah. And who are you? And I mean, it was this guy who thought he was, you know, oh, here's this petite woman who needs help putting her thing in the overhead bin. Yeah. But really, she was fine. And she, and she was actually upset. She was texting me. She's like, you wouldn't believe this. Yeah, so she's angry. She clearly thinks this is wrong. That guy is probably sitting texting his wife. Can you believe this girl I tried to help her? And look at what she did. In this case, Helping somebody who doesn't need help. Are they showing signs of help? If she's struggling with the luggage, it's falling on her head. Then maybe a kind individual comes over and aids. So it's the same with us as adults. So there's something similar going on here. Um, and then Maria Montessori, who I admire greatly, she says, every useless aid arrests development. So with us as adults, you know, she can say, oh man, this guy was trying to help me out. As a child, what happens when somebody grabs that luggage from them and does it for them? What happens when you put the sand in the pail? What happens when you don't let the child struggle with um, the toy? They don't develop. They don't develop as complete as they could. And today, if you think about, there's a big thing with business and people saying, you gotta fail first. You gotta be comfortable with failure. And they're nailing it over your head as adults. But if you never got comfortable with failing, 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 then succeed as a child, it's very, very hard to be comfortable with failure as an adult. 